Hi, everyone, welcome to another exciting SpaceX update video. First, we've got some great news to share. Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX, was honored with the prestigious International Astronautical Federation World Space Award at the ongoing International Astronautical Congress 2023. This award acknowledges exceptional contributions to the advancement of global space activities. Stephanie Bednarik, Senior Director of Commercial Launch Sales at SpaceX, graciously accepted the award on behalf of Musk during the IAC event in Baku, Azerbaijan. Musk on X expressed his gratitude to the IAF and attributed the achievement to the dedicated SpaceX team. Now, let's talk about something out of this world. A Tesla Cybertruck made its debut appearance at Starbase, and it wasn't just for show. It was spotted towing an RVAC engine. The site was undeniably futuristic. Could this be a sign that SpaceX is considering replacing its current fleet of pickup trucks with Cybertrucks for Starbase operations? It's worth noting that Tesla is gearing up to start delivering Cybertrucks to customers this quarter. And prototype versions, called RC, have been seen on the roads in recent months. While everyone was speculating if Elon himself was behind the wheel, it turns out that SpaceX employees are now using Cybertrucks not only at Starbase but also at Kennedy Space Center. Now, let's shift our focus to the rockets. Inside the high bay, the stacking of Starship S-31 is nearing completion. However, the launch site seems strangely deserted, with no signs of activity. Without the FAA's launch license, the waiting game continues. In the meantime, Booster 9's grid fins decided to add some excitement with a little wiggle 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 we were expecting some action on S26 testing, but it's been surprisingly quiet. Let's hope the FAA and the US Wildlife expedite their review process to inject some energy back into the launch site. On the launch front, SpaceX is keeping up its impressive pace, with the 70th mission of the year set to take off later today. Starlink 6-21 is scheduled to lift off from SLC-40 at Cape Canaveral in Florida at 10.16 p.m. Eastern Time. Stay tuned for more updates on this mission. Now, let's switch gears for a moment and dive into some industry updates. Intuitive Machines, a Texas-based American space exploration company, is on the brink of rewriting history. They're gearing up to launch America's first lunar lander to touch down on the moon since the iconic Apollo 17 mission in 1972. The spacecraft, known as Nova C, is all set for transport to Florida as it prepares for launch, which is currently scheduled for no earlier than November 16, 2023. Nova C will hitch a ride atop a Falcon 9 rocket from Launch Complex 39A at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. This mission is not just a return to lunar exploration but also marks the historic achievement of the first-ever commercial lunar lander to successfully reach the moon's surface. Nova C's primary mission is to deliver five payloads for NASA, along with commercial cargo, to the lunar south pole. From launch day, it's expected to take Nova C about five days to reach the lunar surface, and the entire mission is slated to last approximately two weeks. This mission joins the ranks of other lunar landing attempts this year, including Ispace Hakuto R, Roscosmos's Luna 25, and India's Chandrayaan 3, with only the latter achieving a successful lunar touchdown. Intuitive Machines IM-1 mission is a pivotal part of NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Services CLPS, program, which boasts participation from other notable companies like Astrobotic Technology, Firefly Aerospace, Maston Space Systems, and, of course, SpaceX. These firms are committed to developing lunar landers and rovers to transport payloads to the moon for NASA and other clients. The overarching goal of the CLPS program is to stimulate the growth of a robust commercial lunar economy while reducing NASA's dependence on government-owned and operated spacecraft. IM-1 is just the beginning, paving the way for a series of upcoming missions that will ferry an assortment of payloads to the moon, including scientific instruments, technology demonstrations, and commercial cargo. Most importantly, the CLPS program is a critical component of NASA's Artemis program, which aims to return humans to the moon by 2025. On October 2, Rocket Lab conducted its first cryogenic pressure test on the second-stage tank of its upcoming neutron rocket. 
While we await official results, we're optimistic that everything went as planned. Before we wrap up, here's a sneak peek at the first publicly available images of two prototype satellites for Project Amazon Kuiper. It leaves us wondering if they are launching some mysterious military satellites for a classified national security mission. I don't know. I will leave it to you all to decide why they don't want us to see the satellites. Thank you for watching this video till the end. And I will see you in the next video with more updates.